Good day, my name is Ty Walker, PGA Professional and Director of Instruction with Golf Tech. We're here at the Inverness Golf Club in Denver, Colorado. I want to show you a couple simple things we're going to use to get out of the bunker. One is a rake and one is your sand wedge. We're going to use the rake as a tool to show you how to use the tines on it to create the sheet of music that will help you define better how you get out of the bunker so that you can inspect your divot so you know what to expect when you're getting out of the bunker. So we're going to go ahead and take the tines and lightly depress them in and create this sheet of music. And using the old tradition line drill, we can draw a line right down the middle of that. We go ahead and we place the ball on the line, straddle the line, and as we hit, what we'll see is where I entered that line precisely by using the sheet of music, we can see if I'm entering too close to the ball, too far from the ball, and in both of these you can see I'm about two to three lines behind the, the golf ball line. If we can make that entry consistent and our divots consistent, then we start to see the good distance control out of the bunker. Alright, hope you've enjoyed the tip today on how to get out of the bunker. Again, don't be so afraid of the sand. It's as simple as using your rake, create a sheet of music, take a divot, and inspect where your club enters and exits the sand. As long as the sand comes out of the bunker, the ball should too. If you're having trouble, please come see me. Again, Ty Walker with Golf Tech or look up one of your local Colorado PGA professionals.